Yeah. Then you meet your musical twin, Issa, yeah. the late Issa, rest in peace. Exactly. Who I absolutely loved. Because exactly. I think you and he yeah. just we gelled, ruled man. the entire region. We gelled, man. It was it was amazing. It was it was actually very short, but we were like, yo, we already created such a powerhouse that yeah. short while. And and we would what happened was um I met I met Issa in, in Splash the first time. Yeah. We would hear each other's songs. But yeah. I remember the meeting him the first time was in Splash. Had he been with Ogopa then? Yes, he was already doing something. So okay. you know he's in the same camp. Yeah. You know he's there, but you never met. Yeah. But you hear his music, you know. Yeah. And no video, so you don't even know how, <laughs> so how someone looks like. <laughs> You guys Imagine, man, from... guys used to perform <laughs> as us in Kisumu. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> and guys don't know because they don't, they're like this casual, oh, you know, maybe. Yeah, but it doesn't true. sound, but you know, anyway. Um, so when we met, of course, it was like, yo, nameless, yo, yeah. Issa, hey, I'm yeah. a big fan of your fan. So we became friends. The first thing was friendship. You yes. Know? And then, you know, we'd do shows together, tours. I remember sitting down with him and we'd talk about how was our show, how was, you know, stuff like that. And um, I remember once, City, we would operate in Matriz, eh? Yes. So I remember we were sitting there and he was well, in a Matri and he was just complaining about some guys. It's like some of our guys are hitting us. There's some guys were doing some songs that were beefing about yeah. um, our style of music. And he was like, yo, man, these guys are hitting so much, man. Yeah, we need to come together and like, you know, become a powerhouse yeah. you know, and combine. And that's where Boomba and uh, Maisha King. What? Yeah, we went to, I used to stay in a SQ in a South B. We sat down there and we said, you know, if we do, we will collaborate on two or three songs. Yeah. Um, and we start touring together. Like, you know, if I'm called for a show, I say, Yes, I'm I need to come with this guy. guy. Yes. And if you call for a show, vice versa and stuff yeah. like that. And um, I remember after Ninoki was too big. Yeah. I told Lucas, I'm struggling to get a song. Yeah, you <laughs> can come back from Ninanoki. And I was yeah. about to ask that question. Do yeah. You know you've done Ninanoki. Yeah, man. It's become a monster. It's become a monster. And, and, and it becomes a problem. Normally Following up is a problem. It's a real job. So we struggle with that. And then um, that's how we said, you know what? Let's, do this. Let's release the next song. Release a collaboration. Yeah. It's safe. It's normally a strategy you use. Yeah. If you want to be safe and you're not too sure which direction to go. Yeah. You hide under collaboration. Yeah. And some of the strategies <laughs> are used. Yeah. Industry so. secret. <laughs> yeah. Budding artists, are you listening? So anyway, so um, that's when we chose Bomba. And Bomba took it to oh. the next level, man. You know, yeah. and it, it worked out because it was a collab. It was different, but still it had some good vibes. And um, the that from like there. Yeah, typical from there. Attitude. And and we listened to it. It was a, We're talking about the same thing. The guys who are not with us. Yeah. And, you know, to help them as, you know, join the Bomba train. Exactly. As we yeah. are going, you know. Yeah. And um, that has become, in my set, that has become a song that really gives me power and energy in my show. Yes. Because it's a constant reminder. Yeah. What, what we were talking about, the struggles, and how we're saying we come together, we'll overcome all these struggles. Yes. So, immediately that came out, now we started touring a lot with Isa, you know. And, yeah, you are and it, used to be so, it used to be funny because I used to be the one who fungas the show. Uh -huh. um, because at that point, I was still bigger than Isa when yes. we started touring. Yes. So, he would start and then I would finish. Yeah. And then we would uh, call him back to do Boomba. Yeah. But our last show together, Nakuru. Yeah. Isa used to study the, the market so quick and yeah. fast and yeah. adjust his writing very fast. So yeah. he performs in notices there. So he started now writing music that were more commercial but still had that hip hop vibe. Yes. The most, most Kamata and all. Yes. So as he was releasing them, he began becoming so big. Yes. Very fast. You know? Yeah. So he then Lucas told me, we will hold your album, not mine. <laughs> because this guy. <laughs> Let's first do. Yeah, this, this guy's guy, coming. Yeah. is on yeah. fire. So it was cool. So in Nakuru, so I was telling Isa, I don't know if you realize, but if we come now too big now, you have to funga the <laughs> show. <laughs> and he's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, dude, you'll be you see. Yeah. So Nakuru, is, he funga the show, you know, and then I came and did Boomba. You know, we came out of that show, remember upstairs we had an after party, you know, with friends and all, and, and then Isa was just looking and saying, yo, yani our dream is coming. <laughs> it's true, that's <laughs> true. man, you know. And you yeah, did so, everything yeah. almost seemingly together. Yeah, man. And it was, and we would not even released Maisha. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, Maisha came after he passed. Yes. Yeah. But so you can imagine now we're just like now and it's just been like this and he chucks a few songs, then we chuck Maisha. It's a wrap. I, I remember exactly where mm. I was. Yeah. The day of the accident. Yeah. I was on air. Yeah. And I got a call. Yeah. From Lucas. Wow. And he tells me, here there's been an accident. Nameless is okay. Yeah. But I don't know about Isa. Wow. Can you come? Yeah. So 
I, I didn't even finish the show. I just put the system on oh. automation, went straight to South 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 Sea. Yeah. Picked him up. We went to Issa's place. Wow. And as we are sitting in my car, yeah, the radio was playing. Yeah. And Mosmos came on. Mm. And Lucas broke down. Wow. I will never ever forget that. Wow. It was the most emotional thing wow. ever. Wow. I didn't know what to say what to do at that what point. to do yeah man. but it was a moment i'll never forget and that moment seemed to bind me and lucas to a long-term friendship time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for you when you heard he's gone yeah who told you and how did you react um okay i didn't know from the time i was taken to the hospital when it all happened yeah. it happened very fast so i remember when i was being put in a car as well as they told me he's been taking the first car yeah because i didn't see him physically yeah this I don't want to ask someone, oh, he's in a different hospital, whatever. I remember actually, that's what they told me, he's in a different hospital. Yeah. But I had no phone, I had no um, like communication. My bros came from Nairobi. Yeah. My bro, because I asked him, oh, where is Issa? No one is telling me. My bro is the first one who told me. Um, Issa didn't make it. And he didn't sink in. Like, you know when you hit someone? Yeah. At that moment and someone says he's not there, it doesn't sink in. So yeah. he did not sink in. And I changed and entered the car and we started driving. It was seven o'clock yeah. news in the evening. And they, they played a song. I think it was Boomba they played. Yeah. But all I remember was the presenters announcing it. He said, yeah, these two guys, oh, and Isa passed away. And asked, now the lads, when it sunk in, when it came like, it's for real. Yeah. And that's when I broke down. You know, as an adult, me, yeah, I, I don't yeah. break down like, that's when it's like it became real to me now just listening like anyone else and receiving it when he told my bro told me funny enough it didn't sink in yeah i was like no like no you must you must be mistaken or something yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's that's when it now sunk in just they played boomba after saying it he had just passed on yes now i'm, I'm even getting it clearer they played after because i remember listening to the song and i remember feeling like he says talking to me Boomba. Yeah. He said, yeah, this guy's uh, in an accident and he's a passed away. So I started crying. And then now they play Boomba. Now you, I'm hearing Issa's voice. Now it's different. Now it feels like he's talking to me from heaven. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I can, I can feel you. Yes, I understand. Like the words all of a sudden are not the same like a collaboration. Like you always knew them to be. They took on a different meaning. They took a different meaning. Like I was listening to him and he's like reminding me. Like, yo... Name that started checking our to is that to checking our to see what and I'm like yo that must be powerful man crazy like crazy man but yeah yeah so that's how that's how that happened okay wow what a story what a story and it's not even halfway okay yeah. so you had collaborated so much with Isa done yeah. so much with him yeah. how do you move on did um, you ever feel like I can't do this again. Yes, I, um, wife always tells me she feels something changed in me and some things you don't even realize, you know, um, but for some moment mm -hmm. there, it was like, Hey, what's life all about? You know, yeah. like you're here, you're doing your thing. Then it just cuts off. Yeah. It, 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 it took me back quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but I remember we, we decided we're going to do, he was planning to do a, a launch for his album. Yeah. Nimefika. Nimefika, yeah. Um, and Lucas and Ogopa we looked and said, let's, let's do it, but we'll do it in terms of uh, celebrating yeah. life. And I remember I still had my, I mean, I had an injury. Yes. Um, and they were asking, do you think you perform? And I was like, yeah, I have to perform and all that. And I remember getting on stage and you know, the adrenaline, you even forget yeah. that you have an injury. Yeah. And the love I felt, you know, when I was performing. And the love I felt for Issa, Issa um, and the love for just Kenyan music, the vibe, the love for all that just made me say, yo, we got to keep doing you this. You got to keep man. going on, yeah. We got to keep doing this. And that's what I'm telling you. That song, Boomba, took a different vibe because it would speak, reminding me, yeah. just remember that, just keep going. It, there'll be challenges, but keep going. So so that gave me the fire to just... And you just carry on. Let's, let's, let's keep, keep the fire going.